What's up family? How y'all doing today? I'm here with Milky Tech and today we're going to do a review on the MSI Summit E13 EVO laptop. Let's take a look at it. This laptop, MSI Summit E13 EVO, checks off a lot of things that I like in a laptop. It is powerful, it is energy efficient, and it is light. In a day-to-day -day use, the battery life is pretty good. I'm getting about nine and a half hours of battery life, and that is pretty phenomenal for a laptop of this size. I know others were getting 10 hours plus. I do have my screen brightness a little bit higher than normal. I just like my screen really bright. Yeah, I understand, it does take away from the battery life. Even if you're going hardcore using the laptop in a video conference, and I had a four hour video conference, this battery lasted me about five hours, which is great for a laptop this size. And guys, before we continue, link for this laptop is in the description below. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, smash that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. We're trying to get the statistic up, trying to get more subscribers watching this video. So if you guys smash the subscribe button, it helps the channel a lot, helps us grow and bring you this type of content. And once you reach 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a little giveaway, so smash that subscribe button. All right, so let's look at the specs of this laptop. This laptop has a 12 gen i7, 1280p EVO processor, it has 16 gigs of DDR5 running at 4800 megahertz, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, Windows 11 Home, a killer AX 1675, which is the 6E variant, a 13.4 inch touchscreen, full HD IPS display running at 120 hertz, and it's full HD plus, which is 1920 by 1200. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The graphics is the Intel Iris XE, and you have a four cell 71 hour lithium polymer battery. So let's talk about the build quality of this laptop. Overall, I like this laptop a lot. I love the way it looks. I love just the styling of it. There isn't much flex to the screen. There isn't much flex to the body. Press on it is pretty good. Not much flex there either. Same thing for the keyboard. Not much flex there. The hinge is pretty good. I mean, I'm shaking it and it's not moving. I know the previous version, there was a problem with the hinge, but it looks like MSI solved it. You have to like swing it to do with that. The body is a mixture of plastic and aluminum. The screen is all aluminum. And as you can see, I got brain magnet. The body is plastic with a nice aluminum edge on it. It's a really, really nice laptop. I really like the way it looks. Has been designed. Has a little magnetic place to hold your pen. Overall, I really like the keyboard. It's a pretty nice keyboard. I wish I had a number pad, but I mean, it's 13.4 inches. Only so much you can squeeze into a laptop. The keyboard is backlit. It has a nice clicky to it. I'm just spamming the keys and it sounds, honestly, it's pretty good. I wrote the review on this laptop and I had no issues typing on it. I know some people are very particular with their keyboards, but I think this is a pretty decent keyboard. One thing I like about the layout of the keyboard is where is the page up and page down buttons. It's right on top of the arrow keys. So, you know, if you're trying to go up and down pages really quick, you just press those buttons. It's, it's pretty nice. I like that. I like the oversized trackpad. It's pretty big on this laptop. It makes it super easy to use. It is super smooth. The screen glides on it nicely. It feels like it's made out of glass. It's nice and smooth. Buttons are pretty clicky, pretty responsive. It also has a fingerprint reader, which is pretty cool makes it easier to sign in. Or you can use Windows Hello. I love how light this laptop is. It's it's only 3.75 pounds and it is super light. I mean, you can carry it like literally from one edge and it's still pretty flat. That shows us how rigid this body is. It has a great display. It's a 13.4 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which gives you a resolution of 1920 by 1200. The 16 by 10 aspect ratio gives you a little bit more vertical uh, display real estate. If you're reading stuff on web pages, do basically anything productivity, it gives you this much more space to see stuff, which is great. It is a bright display at 500 nits. I don't see you have any problem using this laptop outdoors. It is also a touchscreen display, which allows you to use this MSI pen, which is included, to uh, basically jot down notes, draw, whatever you like. And the MSI pen, it's nice. And it looks like it's just a re branded Microsoft pen and their pens are phenomenal. You can charge this pen, it is rechargeable via USB Type-C, so you can just use the, include a charger in it to charge this uh, pen up, or you know, just plug it into any USB charger, which is great. The writing experience with this pen is pretty nice. It's very responsive, you can go ahead and draw whatever you like, it's, it's pretty nice. I love the inclusion of this pen for productivity. And it's magnetic, so it's just, comes right here, boom. And it stays right there. Or you can stick it on to the top when the display lid is and uh, you can leave it right there. But it's not as strong up here. Over here, it's like part of the laptop. 
Nice. So the speakers on this laptop are pretty decent. They are bottom facing speakers. Wish they were front facing speakers. It is what it is, but the sound isn't too bad. All right, so let's do a handoff where we go from our recording gear to the laptop. And um, this is just a test and let's see how we sound all over here. If you guys watched my previous video, you guys will know that. Let me put it right there. You guys will know it's actually pretty good, this laptop. Most other laptops really even look kind of enough to do the job basically but not as crisp with this i do wish it a little bit more light in it does look a little bit dark but overall quality comparing to other laptops it's pretty good so let's go over the ports of this laptop you have two thunderbolt 4.0 ports with power delivery one usb 3.2 gen 1 one hdmi out a micro sd card reader and a mic in headphone out. So let's take a look at the benchmarks of this laptop. Our first benchmark of the day is Cinebench R23, where we had a CPU multi-core score of 3947 points and a single core score of 1473 points with an MP ratio of 2.68x. So for our next benchmark, let's take a look at the speed of the NVMe drive. It is a quick drive with read speeds of 3647 megabytes per second and write speeds of 3484 megabytes per second. So let's take a look at all the 3D marks. All right, so for Firestrike, we got a score of 3908. And according to them, you should be able to run Battlefield 5 Ultra at 1440p around 30 FPS. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at Night Raid, where we got a score of 12,758. Let's take a look at Time Spy, where we got a score of 1280. And our PC Mark 10 score, we got a 4402 score. And looks like the Essential is pretty quick, which is to be expected. So let's take a look at Uni Engine Heaven benchmarks. Let's show you guys no, I ran it at native resolution, 1920 by 1200. And our quality, I set it to low, but I had tessellation set to extreme. And we had an average FPS of 41.5 FPS with a min FPS of 7.9. I guess this tessellation is really push it. It's not too bad. And now let's take a look at Uni Engine Valley and basically the exact same settings. Maximum resolution at low settings. And we had an average FPS of 49 FPS and a min FPS of 20 and max 83, which is very, very playable. You know, we probably could have pushed it a little bit further, maybe rather than medium. And now let's look at super positioning benchmark, where we had an average FPS of 32 FPS and a minimum of 23 FPS and a maximum of 45 FPS. Again, a very playable resolution. All right, so let's look at Geekbench, where we had a single core score of 1625 and a multi-score of 6001. And we ran the OpenCL test, where we got a score of 18,339. And now let's look at the Passmark performance. And we scored in the 45th percentile at 1379. Now the only thing that was holding us back was the graphic card because it's an integrated graphic card. And that's to be expected. Now there's a variant of this laptop comes with a dedicated graphic card, I believe uh, a 3050. Oh, there's a 3000 series Nvidia graphics card. It'll turn this into a gaming beast. And of course, we gotta play at least one game on here, and we ran Borderlands 3. And basically at native resolution, at low settings, we had an average FPS of 21 FPS, which isn't too bad for a AAA title game on a laptop with an integrated graphics card. Which tells me like, if you guys are gonna run like CSGO on here, or any of the other esports titles, you should be able to run it just fine. Maybe at even medium settings at native resolution. All right, so let's dismantle this laptop. Looks like we're just using a small Phillips head. So there are four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. We're gonna have to take off these rubber feet to get to the other two screws. Use a nail or like a screwdriver to get it out. You will need a size zero screwdriver to take this off. Break the factory seal. And now you're gonna need a plastic pry tool to open up the back cover and just work around. And it comes right off. Here's our SSD, it is upgradable. Here's where our CPU is. So we got a double uh, fan design here. Push as much air over the fins. It still gets really hot though. I don't know why. Now maybe the thermal compound has to be upgraded or something to help it cool, but uh, it does get pretty warm. Here's a Wi-Fi card, not upgradable, soldered on. And I don't see where our RAM is. I guess it's on the other side of the board. It's more than likely soldered on and not upgradable. If it was, it would have been on this side. That is a bummer. And here is our 70 watt hour battery. You can change it if you'd like. Cool. And our speaker. All right, let's button it back together. So let's look at the pros of this laptop. This laptop has a sleek, beautiful design to it. At least in my opinion, you have pretty great specs in this laptop. 
up it's pretty quick you should be able to do any kind of video editing or photo editing a lot of productivity great battery life it has a great display it has great security where you have enterprise great security and some of the security features that it has is tile which allows you to find this laptop even if the battery is dead and it's off and you'll still be able to find it it has to be aware so if somebody is behind you it will notify you that hey there's somebody behind you so we're looking over your shoulder you gotta take care of that person and windows hello which allows you for biometrics logging in into windows and security features for anywhere from facial recognition to fingerprint reading this laptop has a solid body very little flex to it great hinges it is a flex laptop so it goes all the way 360 degree hinge which allows you to do something like this and it is light and small, with it being less than four pounds and at 13.3 inches. I like the keyboard and I like the trackpad. The keyboard is nice and clicky, the trackpad is very smooth, you can figure on it nicely. The pen is a nice addition to this laptop. You can go and take write your notes, you know, especially during class or you're trying to get a deal done, you can easily start jotting down notes. It has a great battery life. Manufacturer says around 10 hours. I was getting by nine and a half. Others will get more than 10 hours. So your mileage may vary. Now under heavy, pretty heavy usage with the webcam running and running video conference, everything, I got around five hours. So let's look at the cons of this laptop. This laptop gets really hot. I try to put it on my lap. I feel like it's gonna burn my lap. So there is that. I wish the cooling on was a little bit more robust where it doesn't get so hot. Another thing, when you're in tablet mode, the keyboard still works. So if you're trying to show something and you actually press a button in the back, it's gonna do some weird thing, which is not good. You know, you don't actually press the arrow keys or the window key or you know, start typing all of a sudden. When you're trying to show something in tablet mode. Now I wish there was a place to put the pen inside of the laptop. I get it. I mean the pen is about the thickness of the laptop and that's why they went for the magnetic route. But you know, little pet peeves. And I wish this laptop had a front facing speaker, not a bottom facing speaker. Especially with the amount of space between the keyboard and the display. Put a couple speakers up there instead of having them at the bottom. It's just a better experience overall for the user. The RAM is not upgradable which is it's not on, which is kind of kills the laptop. So you better buy the laptop with the amount of RAM that you want or anticipate more because you can't upgrade the RAM here. This laptop here is stuck at 16 gigs. And there's a fingerprint magnet. Hooey. Anything you touch, it just leaves a fingerprint. So you got to keep a microfiber cloth with you at all times just to keep it clean. Now, ways to make this laptop better, have a front-facing speaker. You know, have a better cooling solution where, you know, the laptop doesn't burn your lap. It's supposed to sit on your lap. You know, fix the tablet mode issue where the keyboard still works when you're in tablet mode. You really don't want the keyboard to work. Especially if you're gonna try to hold it in your arm like this and they just stop pressing buttons here. It's just, in my opinion, that's ridiculous. Fixing that is the way to go. And make the RAM upgradable. Applications are getting more and more complex as days goes by. And being stuck down to 16 gigs is great for now, but in the future, we'll probably need more RAM because Google Chrome. Now, maybe in order to fit into this kind of form factor, they did that for space saving, but really, I think they could have fit it in there just fine. And that's it. Maybe we could, you know, make the trackpad a little bit bigger. I mean, we, there is a lot of wasted space on the laptop itself where we could have just had a bigger trackpad. About half an inch of space on the bottom itself that could have been used to make the trackpad just a little bit bigger. And there you guys have it, the MSI Summit E13 EVO. Overall, it's a great laptop, great battery life, beautiful design. It definitely screams business. And you can still have some fun with it if you guys want to. Now, it does have its cons, but I think overall the pros outweigh the cons and this is in my opinion a great laptop and guys link for this laptop is in the description below if you guys enjoy this content smash that like button hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when i release my next video if you guys have a question a comment or want to say hello what's good drop it in the comments below and i will see you guys next time peace